Good morning, this is Calamity calling, and heavy rain has served us more physical conflict. Some physical not conflict, quite actually the opposite of that. Um, and after they had done the do, the police are about to break into the apartment thing where he is and that's not good so i've got a feeling i'm going to be living the moment from the trailer right now where he basically has to vault um between balconies so that's going to involve some very precise quick time actions that i hope i can actually do but in the meantime unless it's the one of the policemen but it just doesn't feel like that fits their mo Anyway, let's run from the police. Well, bum. Uh, yes, this is the scene from the trailer. Boing. I'm a bunny rabbit. Still on the move. We get him. Oh god, park on. Can you climb up on the outside? Because they look like ladder steps. Oh, was it when they were building this place? Oh. Hi, random man. Whoa! Sorry. Well, I messed that one up twice. Ah! Run! Oh boy. Uh, 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 up. When in doubt. Right button, left button. X, 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 X. Mash button, mash button, mash button. If you did it, so Don't can move. I. Ooh. Down, up. Left button, left, left button, right button, left button, right button, left button, right button. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bit through. Slide, 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 slide. Far quicker than trying to vault over the top. Oh, boy, God. Oh, God. X. Ha, ha. Y. X. Oh, yee. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, yee. Why are they always on my toes? I need them. I'm already missing a finger. Balls, 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 balls. Left, right, 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 left, right. Stop! How are you having so much trouble? You're walking on an actual ground. I'm not. I'm just hoping for the best. God, you lot. This this game has certified for me that the police in America are not trained enough. No. On your knees. Hands behind your head. I have something to do. I have to go get Sean. Nowhere to go. Surround. Uh, jump. Bye. Holy fuck. Ow. I mean, there is no tuck and roll. But come on, we got somewhere to be. You're gonna be really embarrassed when you see it wasn't me. That policeman's a dick anyway, but still. Cab, 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 cab. Ow. Dude, use your brakes. Hi there. I need your car. If I can steal this from you, and I've just been scaling balconies, you're a very weak man. Goodbye. You're going to need to ditch that once you get some... Ha! Ah, all your men you couldn't catch me. An injured man with one finger less who's still somewhat discombobulated from activities. Ooh, lover boy and escape master. Nice. I've no idea if I'm getting the good achievements or just achievements for every chapter. I hope I'm getting the good achievements. I am trying. Curse D. Four, well, close to four and a half inches. Who's in my apartment? I was here. I was suspicious. Lauren? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. No, he's not. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is... <laughs> for good. 
dude. You don't cold cock. Shelby. Shelby is lovely. Lauren, what the fuck did you do? Oh, Lauren. Lauren, you are never forgiven. Lauren! No. Oh, no. never mind. I take it all back. Yeah. Sorry, Lauren. Shit. I assumed the worst. Um... That won't work. Let's see what I got. What have I got? Lauren! Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Lauren, wake up! Lauren! The depth is making it smash. No. Left bumper. God damn fool. Nothing's gonna work if I don't switch on that ignition. Snips. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god damn it. Left button. Left button, left button, left button, left button, left button. Lights. Yeah. There we go. Laura. Left. Um. Right, how do I undo Lauren? Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Slap her! Lauren! He lived a hat. We can't even go to the police about him because they're bent. Crooked, whatever the word you choose is for corrupt. <coughs> Lauren, I get one free slap for you betraying me though. <coughs> what could they possibly do you in I was going to take up swimming again. <coughs> this isn't exactly what I had in mind. The sun's already gone. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. I'll lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't wanna lose you. He has maintained such a good sense of humor in all of this. Swimming instructor. Oh, I'm him again. I wonder what scores he's settling. Because he's got a lot of people on his hit list right now. Although I think he made the wrong... I don't think it's the son who's the killer. I think... I, I still think it's his building site where the kid died and he feels guilty and that's why he did the flowers. And Whee! The music did a weird double beat, right? 
Damn it. There we go. Right. Right button. Left button. Right trigger. Right button. Oh, I missed one. Right trigger. Right button. Damn it. Oh, I've got two shots now. Right trigger. If I get too many shots, I'm assuming he just goes. Looks like that scene from Red Dead Redemption, doesn't it? Oh, damn it. The force of that gun to just physically send him rolling backwards. Damn it, wrong button. Damn it. Oh. Stay back! Don't come near me! Or I'll shoot! So big when you've got an army full of men, aren't you? Ugh. Fuck Dick. asshole. You tried to kill us. Please, don't smack him! Oh. Sm <sighs> You're gonna answer me. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a then killer. Then why did you try not and kill me? Tell me again. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please, don't hurt me. You mean like you Last didn't chance. try and hurt me? I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Tell me then. Uh, Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... To be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate it accident. It was deliberate. He just wanted to play. He's a he grown man. Everything. He doesn't get to play like that. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. He's a perverted, sick bastard. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. I don't give a flying fudge if he's the president of America or the prime minister of England. No he's one will going. Miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Was it Lauren's son? You disgusting pile of shit. Kill him. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. Thought so. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. Hmm. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Well, I got somewhere to start. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that draw! Fine, but you owe me one. You owe me one for this. I'm gonna call on a favor from you. If you ever say no.
kind-hearted, not kind-hearted, calculated move. He's arguably a very powerful man in this city. So I'm going to use that. Now, you need to find someone. She's got the right idea, just not the full story yet. No, never mind, she picked it up damn quick. Oh no, nearly five inches. It's gone up like half an inch already. We could do with some rain in England right now. Just all the grass is crispy. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepherd's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Okay, what do I sign it as? Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Thank you. I really feel like there should be some more security um, before you're letting me in to see a woman without proof that I have any relation to her. Nineteen, nineteen, nineteen. There's nine, ten. So nineteen's gonna be on the orchids, orchids. Why do I see orchids? Ooh, you have pink hair. I like your hair. Nope, that's not nineteen. Ah, oh, there's no room here. Sorry. Nineteen at the end of the hall. So we have to go into here. No, it won't let me. So where's nineteen? Oh, there it is. It's on the wrong side. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Mrs. Shepherd. Is it time for my pills already? Oh, bless her. No, Mrs. Shepherd, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Origami. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Oh. I know what happened at Carnaby How? Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. How can you just Square? leave her alone? I think I used to live there a long time ago. She's a person, even if we she's old. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Your other son, Mrs. Shepherd, John's twin brother, what was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepherd. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. 
No one forgets their mother, do they? So he's in his mid-twenties now. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? Snakey. My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. So, what if it wasn't actually Johnny who died? They changed the names? Make it into a crane. Oh no, this is going to be hard. This is a lot of buttons. Ah, oh, damn. Now let me try again. I want to do it right. A. Then down. Then X. And sideways. And then right button. And then this way. Did it! Made a bird. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Okay, so I need to show her her favorite one. Um, I'm assuming the page will be folded if it's her favorite one. The dog. Right, okay, hang on. This one's going to be hard. And a lot of folds. Just because this is... I remember seeing this one. Uh, I'm trying to think what finger to use. I'm currently holding it on my lap. I'm trying to think what finger to use to best so it doesn't... <laughs> Damn it! Okay, let's try that again. So... Y button, down, left button, right, X button, down, right button, right. God, oh, yeah, I am using all these little dogs too. One of my fingers. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the names? little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? What did your other son like? Okay, I gotta make some more origami then. What shapes do I... Ooh. Okay, I can't give her more origami shapes. It was just the dog. Um. God, hang on. Let's see if I can find anything in here. There's got to be a clue in here. I don't know for what reason I did that. Oh, she wants a TV on. Okay, I'll turn the TV on then. It seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Orchids. Gotta find something Orchids. else to show her. The orchids from the the hallway. I'll be back. Wait a second, there's orchids. I know I saw them. Where are they? Because there were orchids by her trailer as well. I don't need a memory. I know what it was. It was the orchids. So gimme! I 
don't remember this whole... There it is. Don't remember this hallway being so long, but... Okay. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. Hello! I bought you a flower! God, the look on her face was so, like... Mm. Sorry, no. He... Oh, sorry. Let me put it in the water. Here you go. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Nothing in there. Can't just leave her alone with nothing. She's a person, for Christ's sake. Give her some respect. Who is this? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Mm. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy nice. life, you know. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The adoption. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. Bless. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I, I missed him. I can tell him for you if you tell Please, me his name. Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Oh god, is she gonna bite my ear off? I'll never tell you, bitch. Am I not allowed to know? That's just rude. I'm guessing that changes everything. You don't get the come on. This isn't fair. I need a I need information. I need details. Sneaky. Oh, I thought it was Roosevelt. 961 Rainbow. This is... This is the... Is he in a dream? Yeah, he's in a dream. Because this is the kind of place that costs serious money. Oh, bless him. How did he get that paper? Where was it from? Because... I don't think he was given a specific order that he had to undo everything in. I'm... Hello? The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Glug. I've already done everything else. Now 
put on the wristwatch and go get your son. Go. Because anything that acts that quickly is going to be excruciating. The last letters have been sent to your phone. Now where am I going? Theodore, 852 Theodore, Roosevelt Road. Okay, come on. Put the watch on. And run. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Yep. Don't walk around. Sacrifice trial master. Oh, I did them all. I passed every trial. Although he is definitely worse for wear for it. Oh, I feel like we're coming to the like penultimate chapter or the very end because they all now have an idea of. So he has the the receipts of where the car was topped up so he can go to the fuel station and ask for the cctv and he's i guess he can get a warrant pretty quickly because it's in relation to an active murder trial shelby knows we've only got a few more hours left to save sean mars I point to there has to be a goddamn clue somewhere it's probably staring me in the face this kid's gonna die and i'm going around in circles I know he sees something, it's just funny to see him flapping at the wind. All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. It's not him. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. This dude's a dick. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Yeah, they don't exactly need evidence anyway, to make no someone be guilty. Yours. Now you're crime. off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back. Yeah, except Norman. the kid who is still drowning. Oh. No. No. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Well, let me have a look then. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Right, so now he's Very on the countdown too. Dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. I know. Just let me look that at the information most now. Okay, let me look. Clues. Analyze the tracks. Where have we seen those tracks? Lies. Okay, so that's one location. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Geo analyzer, analyzer, analyzer. The killer lives in this zone. 
342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Okay. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Damn it, I thought maybe it could tell us. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Allies. Nope. Trying to see if it'll give me any moment where I see it's their face. Play. Play. Is there any... Damn it. There's got to be something. Zoom in on his face. I think I saw something shiny. There, 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 there. Pause, pause, pause. Gold shiny. Watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. It's given to police officers for promotion. The gun was impounded. It's. Is it not the psychiatrist? Is it a policeman? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Oh, come on. Which precinct? Oh, wait, we know what precinct. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and that his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Investigate further. The killer was a cop. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not. A cop. There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Let's go! You alright? You sneaky bastard. While you watch him, he's going to follow him.
Let me stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. You can't it's the only way. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. It's Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. I can't yet. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. Aww. Cute. I think those two could make a good couple. She would definitely have to... Well, she might have to quit her current job if they end up in a relationship. What is this scene showing me? Good car. I'm trying to bring him back to their caravan. And I get out somewhere. the caravan god damn it I wish I was better at directions the caravan is around the point right yes it's here da 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 that's your stuff Get out of here, you little pest. Leave me alone. Come, Dad. Come on. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? You horrible Please, monster. I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Dad. Well, I tell Dad. ya. Crap. <laughs> monster. Please. Please, Dad. You've got to save John. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Hold on to him. <laughs> don't. Don't forget the bottle is gone. Tell me he gets to beat the crap out of the, the father or that the father dies. Oh, yes. That is the kind of trauma that no one forgets. Oh, God. Nerd? Why nerd? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need a moment to um, process that very emotionally heavy scene. <laughs> so Scott, the policeman, is the killer. Wait, hang on, Scott Shelby! Oh, I'm... I'm I'm really confused. Is it Scott the policeman or is it Scott Shelby? Am I just misremembering what his name is? Wow. I'm so confused right now. I thought I knew, didn't know. Um seems like my theory about the psychiatrist was wrong. Uh I am going to end this episode here and go process that 
emotional load I just took on. And I hope to see you in what might be the final episode of Heavy Rain. Have a very lovely day. And most importantly of all, you do you.